I, I was watching you talking to Jordan Peterson, uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, and he was saying, you know, we're talking about society and where it's all gone, and he was like, you know, wh once you reach a point where people can't say what a woman is, society's kind of gone so nuts, it's very hard to work out what we're living in. And I'm sure that in 20 years' time, we'll look back and think, what the hell was going on? And how did we ever let this happen? You know, we've got to the stage now where Leah Thomas, this infamous transgender swimmer in America, uh, who's decimating women's uh, sport in, in the swimming pool, now wants to compete in the Olympics and literally steal a place in the American Olympic team, if she's successful in this appeal, from a biological female. Uh, what do you think about this? I mean, again, it's absurd, but I think it goes to something we were talking about earlier. And we were talking about sort of the rise of conspiracism. The reason that so many conspiracy theories seem less conspiratorial than they used to is because there are, in fact, a cadre of elites, particularly in sort of legacy media, who promote ideas that are so counter to just basic common sense and then demand that you actually abide by those ideas, that you repeat the nostrums and the aphorisms over and over in, in almost malice struggle session ways that... Of course, a lot of people are feeling like there's a sort of conspiracy of people who don't share your values and are attempting to cram those down on you. The problem is, of course, when that metastasizes into broader critiques of this racial group or that racial group, that starts to get really, really dangerous. But yes, I mean, the, the simple fact that, that the question of man versus woman, do they exist, is up for debate, says that there is something fundamentally sick about the society. Now, it's my view that the only way that you can actually rebuild society is you can't do it top down. You actually have to do it bottom up, which is why when people ask me, what can I do to help? Because politics seems it's so hard. I mean, there's so much stuff going on and the world's on fire. And everything. The best thing you can do, be a responsible husband, if you're a man, be a responsible parent, be a responsible citizen, be a member of your religious community, build the local institutions that actually facilitate trust. And then you can build those up such that broader institutions can be built on top of that. But it's going to require a full rebuilding effort. Yeah, it is. Um, one of the things I, I really like about you, Ben, apart from the fact you're staggeringly successful uh, businessman through the portal of your opinions, which I'm fully signed up to, um, is that you're, you're very comfortable and willing, in fact, eager to get into the debating fray with people who completely disagree with you. You're quite happy to engage with the enemy in that sense. But we live in an era where so many people are now too terrified to do that. They only want to exist in their tribe, driven by social media. What do we do about that? I mean, frankly, I think that all you can do is try to use your platform to talk with people of various sides who disagree with you. Now, again, I think that there is such a thing as an Overton window, right? I'm not interested in sitting down with somebody who's espousing the murder of all Jews, for example. I, I agree with you. There is such a thing as the Overton window. With that said, you know, I think that good faith conversations happening across the aisle is deeply important, not only because it clarifies positions, but also it does rebuild that social trust that is clearly falling apart because the, one of the biggest problems we have is what, what I've termed sort of the happy birthday problem, which is, you know, you're a public figure, Pierce. How many people do you know who will text you happy birthday but will not tweet it for fear that they yeah. might receive blowback <laughs> simply for recognizing that you were born of woman? You know, yeah. th that sort of problem is the, is, is the sort of thing that I think fundamentally carves away at a society because we can't yeah. at least acknowledge that we're part of the same civilization, that we share probably 80% of our values, even if we disagree strenuously on the other 20%. That's not a civilization that can be that can be preserved. No, I agree. Uh, ben, we've run out of time. I love talking to you. Please come back whenever you can fit us in. Uh, the Ben Shapiro Show is fantastic. The Daily Wire is fantastic. Uh, I love the uncensored opinions you bring, and I love you coming on Uncensored. So thank you very much indeed for joining me.